we can uh, begin. It's half past. Um, Hi, Zodra. I see you. Zodra, I see you, Komodo yeah. and family. Um, yeah. So I think let's just Hi, begin. <laughs> um. All right. I'm going to mute myself. So um, I am not uh, disturbing with Evie here. All right. Over to you guys. Ah! Everybody, um, I hope everyone has had a good week thus far. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity to minister to you guys today. Um, we're really looking forward to it. It will be an administration to you guys as well as to ourselves as well. Um, we learn together. Um, and she would open with a prayer for us. Let us pray in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, the everlasting Father, King of glory, of Shaddai, Lord of Lords. We thank you for your grace upon our lives. We thank you for your mercy, your favor, your protection, your love. We thank you for that. We thank you for all you do for us. We say we give you glory, God, in Jesus' name. We thank you for giving us the to for this Bible story to study together. Let these words that we we speak today, let this voice have a great impact on our lives in Jesus' name. As we hear these words in the name of Jesus, let our lives not remain the same in the name of Jesus. Let these words go into our lives and sanitize our lives in the name of Jesus. Let me cook and bath, make straight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, great Almighty Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. I am cautious of the time because of the Lord's. Um, Lord shed his schedule. So our message title today is um, How Our Words Shape Our Lives. You can alternatively title it as How Your Words Affect Your Life. So we'll be reading from the foundational text of Genesis 1. It's quite a lengthy scripture and I'm sure everyone is familiar with it. But it'll be Genesis 1 to 29. Um, Okay, sorry, okay, um, Genesis 1, 1 to 29, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, now the earth was formless and empty, darkness was over the surface of the, the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters, three, and God said, let there be light, and there was light, God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, let there be vaults between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the vault and separated the water under, under the vault from the water above it. And it was so. Verse 8, God called the vault sky, and there was evening. And there was morning the second day. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. Verse 10, God, God called the dry ground land and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw it was good. Then God said, let the land produce veg vegetation, seed, bearing plants and trees. And on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to the various kind, and it was so. Verse twelve: the the land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruits with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw it was good. Verse thirteen: and there was evening, and there was morning the third day. 14, and God said, Let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. And let them be let them be light in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made God made two great lights, the greater the greater lights to govern the day and the lesser lights to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth. Verses 18, to govern the day, the night, and to separate light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning the fourth day. This is 229, yeah? Yeah, till 229. Okay. 
20 and God said, let the water team with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teams and that the moves and that moves about in it according to their kinds and every wind good bed according to its kind and God saw it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in seas and let the beds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning the fifth day. 24, and God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground and the wild animals, each according to its kind and its, it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw it was good. 26, then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock all and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image, sorry, in the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful, increase in number, fill the earth, subdue it, rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Finally, 29, then God said, I give every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth, and every tree that has fruit in it. They will be yours for food. Amen. 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 So thank you very much. Um, quite a lengthy scripture, but what I was trying to highlight in each of those verses was how basically it, it, it talks about the creation as we all know it. And one important word that was highlighted is God said. God said. With his words, he created, the, he separated the, 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 the skies from the, from the, he separated the skies, he separated from the land, from water. With his words, he created, uh, created the animals, the birds, and all of that. So with his words, he shaped the heavens and the earth. And I try to relate that to our own lives today. Um, in saying that you are where you are today in part because of what you say to yourself. Your words are the seeds that grow into the version of reality that you are currently experiencing. Whether you realize it or not, you're pro you prophesy your future. Your life moves in the direction of your words. So you need to be more cautious as to what you are prophesy prophesying to yourself. Do you prophesy mediocrity? Do you prophesy failure? Do you prophesy lack? What do you prophesy with your words? Um, Proverbs 18, 21 says that you eat the fruit of your words. Yeah. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So what seeds are you planting today? What, what seeds do you expect to eat tomorrow, you know? Um, are you planting those seeds that you, ex those fruits rather that you expect to eat tomorrow with your words today? Um, in conversations, uh, I realized that I have co-workers and I have a shared office space. And I realized that I can walk in there on certain days, you know, most days actually, with a bright, cheerful spirit and, you know, with excitement, ready to attack the day. And I realized that <laughs> I love them to bits, but they just walk in and they complain about everything, you know. They live a life of complaints, you know. Um, complain about traffic, complain about the price, the full prices, um, complain about the husbands, complain about everything. So I realized that it drags on my day. And it's only a matter of time before I'm almost roped in into complaining with them. And because I say misery enjoys company, and that's not the case for me. I'm, I'm, I'm different. I'm not of the world, you know. Um, I realized that the more I, I joined them in saying these things, the more these things actually become, became more illuminated, you know. I started realizing how, how, 
it never was a thing for me. You know, it never was an issue for me. The prices, yes, petrol prices escalate from time to time, but it's, I always believe that God was my provider. I'm going to get to work one way or the other, you know. So the more I complained about it, the more illuminated it became in my mind. And I realized that I have literally created my current situation of complaint and discontent. Um, so I had to instantly change that. I had to co- change my confession, you know. Even in our conversations, when I'm spurred towards, you know, um, talking like them, or I, I find myself immediately cutting short in there and changing my confession because we are surrounded by angels, whether we realize it or not. And angels are waiting to pick up on your words and with those assignments, going to, to go um, bring it to pass, so to speak. So I return back to my um, statement: What seeds are you planting? You know, what fruits do you expect to reap? No one plants an apple seed and expects to eat orange upon a harvest. So why then do we sow doubt? Why then do we sow failure? Why then do we sow fear and insecurity with our tongue? Um, You can't live negatively and expect to live... um, You can't speak negatively and expect to live a positive life. Mm -hmm. You can't sow defeat and expect to live a life of victory. You cannot talk lack, insufficiency, and expect to live a life of abundance and riches. If you have a poor mouth, you have a poor life. If you have a negative mouth, you are going to have a negative life. So start sowing seeds of increase. Start sowing seeds of abundance, seeds of growth, seeds of prosperity, confessing the word, seeds of health, seeds of joy, and a sound mind. Um, Lastly, um, James 3 verse 9 says, With the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water so with our tongue we can bless our lives um, or we can curse our lives you know you cannot expect to sow as the word says that you cannot expect to sow, uh, uh, it will be strange to be abnormal if a fig tree bears olives or grape grapevine you know bears figs so if you are sowing negativity you know speaking and not confessing the word about your life Well, surprise, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to materialize in your life. Sometimes, and that's the thing we give, and when these things happen, we give so much credit to the devil, and we say um, that it's, oh, it's just the act of the devil, or the devil's at work, you know. We give too much credit to the devil. The enemy does not need to defeat our lives. We defeat ourselves with our words, you know. We do a perfectly good job at defeating ourselves with our words. We give the enemy too much credit for this. Mm. So we need to pay attention to what you're saying about your life. Are you blessing your life or are you cursing it? Mm. Stop criticizing yourself. Mm. Stop, start calling yourself blessed. Start calling yourself rich, you know. I'm the favored one, you know. Um, Proverbs 6 verse 2 um, goes on to state, We are ensnared by the words of our lives. The new um, New International Version says, you have been trapped by what you said and snared by the words of your mouth. Yeah. Don't use your words to describe the situation. Use your words to change the situation. Yeah. You need to create the situation. That, and I'm also being cautious because nowadays I see these things of new age, um, what do you call it, affirmations and like, you know, a manifestation. <laughs> Uh, ours is different from the world. Um, don't don't get that twisted. Ours is just different from the world because ours is based mm-hmm. on the word of God. You know, mm-hmm. um, you use the scripture to supplement yes. and to create yes. the reality you want to see. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll close off with a few mm-hmm. other scriptures. Matthew six verse thirty one says, mm-hmm. "Take no thought, saying, What shall we eat?" Mm-hmm. Um, I listed that scripture also to say that a thought can die stillborn. 
if you don't say it. So when it comes to your mind, you know, you have the power to whether or not you verbalize it, you give life to it, you create life into those words. So don't ensnare yourself with your words. Don't give life to those thoughts, you know. Um, when those thoughts of negativity, failure, whatever it might be, come to your head, stop right there. Let it be still born in your head. Um, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Matthew 12, 24. So you need to constantly um, supplement yourself, arm yourself, you know, guard yourself with the scriptures, you know. Out of the abundance of your heart, what is in your heart, what you confess, what you read and meditate from the, in the Bible, that's what is going to come out. And, you know, um, it will be easier for you to confess these words when faced with those situations and also to create the relics that you want um, to see, especially when it's the most difficult, you know, when you are in the, in the heat of things. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Would you like to add to that? What do you? Yeah, yes, um, definitely. I'd like to add something to it. Um, let's read. I want to give an example, like a quick example of how God has shown us that our words actually count because He has given us the authority. Um, let's go to Gen um, Genesis um, two nineteen. It says, now the Lord God had formed out the ground, all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever he called each living creature, that was its name. So I don't want to say that God has given us the authority right from the beginning. He, he, he has created us, created us in his image and his likeness, and so he has given us the same powers. He created, he formed the earth with those words, and he has told us that, see, man, I've given you this world, call these animals what you want to call them. Anything you call them, I will accept it. So he's saying that whatever we call our whatever we call ourselves, that is what we are. What we proclaim is what we are, what we say to ourselves, what we say about our day, what we say about our lives, what we say about our careers, what we say about our businesses, our families, our children actually matters. These words matter. Another example I want to give, I want to go to Ezekiel 37. 37, let me go to it quickly. Ezekiel 37. Um... Ezekiel 37, 37 yes. 37 from 1 to 5 is about the dry bones. Hmm. Yeah. Ezekiel 37. Yeah, it is. Okay. And the, okay, let me just read it. The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out of the spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He, he led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. Mm -hmm. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I mm -hmm. said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear yeah, the word of the Lord. Let's not, let's not go for that. What, what he's just talking about Ezekiel here, whereby um, there was dry bones, and God said to him, Speak. God could have. God has the power to have raised those bones without looking for man to speak. Mm -hmm. He has the power to just say, hey, before Ezekiel got down, say, hey, let these bones rise up. And it will rise up with that. But God wanted, he, he had given the authority to Ezekiel and I told you, see, you are a prophet of God. I have given you the authority. Mm -hmm. If you do not speak, these bones will not rise. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have the power to speak, but I have given you the power to speak. Mm -hmm. It is what you speak. And you, and you, if you go out, if you go to the passage, if you continue reading the passage, you understand that as Ezekiel spoke, these bones rise, um, these bones, these bones rose up. It's because of the authority God has given. It. God knows. God has given us the authority to 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 proclaim. He says um, in um, in Ma, um, I think. Um, Matthew eighteen verse eighteen. Verily I say to you, whatever shall be bound on earth. Is bound in heaven, whatever shall be loose on earth is losing. He has given us the authority to speak. Hmm? Time. Time. Oh, okay. He has given us the authority to speak, and we should know what we say to ourselves. Once this desire is spoken out of our mouth, acts as it has already happened. The Spirit of God will 
go to, to will work with us on behalf of what we have said with our mouth. Mm. The provision of for our vision is in the words that we speak yes. in our mouths. No person's circumstances will be able to stand against us when we speak positively or walk in the field with positive expectations. We just don't speak. We speak with positive, expect, um, positive expectations. Something happened this week. A miracle happened this week. Um, we were down on cash in the house. It was not like this. We had, there was no cash, but we're lazy. but we were just lazy, we're to, lazy. to get cash and this to go to the to, bank, to go to the bank and all. And there was no fuel in the car. And <laughs> that morning, we just said the prayer and got to um, um, enrich us, bless our day, the normal day. And we spoke light about the day and say, "Hey, God, you are in, the, you are in your hands." Mm. Not for Carrie to come in the, the morning and say, "Ah." <laughs> Um, I don't. You can't imagine. I have a full tank. I left the petrol station with a full tank. A full tank. <laughs> In this economy, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's. Yeah. Talk to me later if you want to hear the testimony. So yeah, I don't think we have enough time for that. That happened. Yeah. The, same, the same day, the, the one with the electricity mm. happened, and mm. it was just it was a miracle. I, Mm-hmm. I don't. It's it happens, it's the same thing with our. It's our it's, worst. It's, 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 it's the, the worst. It's the same thing. Speak. It's the same thing that happened. Um, that happened during our wedding. Mm-hmm. The, because we had a very big wedding, and or let me say not big wedding, but so many ceremonies. There was the finances that was going to come up was crazy, mm-hmm. and we knew at some time that we had money, but it was not. There, it was not going to be enough. Mm-hmm. But we put. We we said our prayers and we. We kept on speaking and saying that confessing that see, this confessing wedding is in God's word. hands. Yeah. We don't have anything. God, you are the one that is providing for us. You are the one that brought us together. You are the one that provides. We don't want these things to be this expensive, but yeah. we know culture and this thing, but it's in your hands. Take charge of the situation. Yeah. For one day we didn't for one day there was no finance that came up and there was no finance to take care of. There was no money to there take care of. There was no need that there, arise. There, there, yeah, there was no need that arise that we could do finance. Mm. One way or the other, something just had to come up. Yeah. Something just had to come up. So I just encourage us that as as the gate goes, the, the world is turning to, there are so many things happening right now with mm. finances, with um, the economy in general, the, economy the and, uh, and everything. But I just tell us that I encourage us to continually, we should stay positive Say positively the things we say. Say positively we, with what are we, how we are through, how we confess these things. Yes, mm. because even um, so, yes, we should just stay positive with with our words and everything. So yes, that's my contribution. To, Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, babe. So, um, family, that is what we have prepared for tonight. Um, I hope this was enough to enrich you um don't mind us it might have been all over the place but i hope (laughs) i hope you got the gist of it all um i hope it was enough to bless you um and we also learn from our own as we teach and as we minister we also apply and learning teaching ourselves as well and we are a work in progress um but we're we're, we're we're really grateful for this opportunity um to minister to you guys thank you very much over to you blue what a powerful um message guys that we we just uh, heard from you guys thank you so much um i'm still gonna ask you in the end as it's normal and uh after everyone has said anything for you guys to come up with the conclusion and maybe lead us to prayer and uh yeah thank you so much i see a lot of, pe- a lot of people here and um i'm just gonna begin with uh, the first one i see on my list on top which is uh, my sister zotwa mom zotwa over to you thank you so much and good evening family Thank you so much, Karis. Well, that you just you teach at home because um, the way we speak and the, the way we pray, we end up living two different lives. We we say something when we're kneeling down and we 
we, when we rise up, we, we say something else. And we expect that uh, our prayers will be answered and come into fruition and it will manifest that. And it, it brings me to the scripture on Mark 11, 23, when Jesus said, whosoever shall say, whosoever shall say to this mountain. So our, our words have power indeed. And I, I am so encouraged that you, you reminded us that we should change the, 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 the way we speak. We shouldn't speak according to what is happening. We should be in line with the word of God. And it's very easy to speak the word of God because you speak what is already in the book. Mm. You speak him and the angel hacking at, at his word. They are waiting to perform his word. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Amen. Bye. Amen. Bye. Amen. Um, Bye. Komoto, Mam Komoto and the family. Hi, sure. Um, this was a million and a half, I must say. And all what has been said, it's so true. Um, just like sitting and saying, Lord, we thank you for this very time with your children who just shared this powerful word, as is. And to myself, I'm saying, always be cautious in, you know, watch your tongue and don't say anything that is negative and it's so true i don't want to add i don't want to subtract i'm just marveled to this word and say um may we go out and this leave this word as is it's so true and nothing else yeah. not nothing to add nothing to subtract yeah. honestly it's just to beautiful let's soak let's soak ourselves in, in in his word that was excellent it's excellent. I think more people need to hear the word. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That's the name, <laughs> um, no, I was, As I was listening to it, I'm like, hi, baby. <laughs> She's so excited. Um, but I think many more people need to hear this. I think it's it was so brilliant and so relevant um, and so necessary. Like, I want to share this word with everybody. So as soon as you can get the notes to me, I'll send it to anyone who has ears. But I also wanted to say there's, there's a reason why God gave us two ears and one mouth. You know, is that we should listen more than we speak. <laughs> and so this was so good. Thank you so much. So much. Wow. Great, yes, great. thank you very much. Great, great. Thank you so much, uh, Polo family, Paula and Mom Komoto. Um, I'm going to ask Onika to be the next one. Onika, your thoughts? Hi, everyone. Hi. And now I was just, <laughs> I just, I just started asking people. <laughs> no, so, okay. uh, but based on, based on what everybody has shared thus far, I'm going to guess it is a matter of the power of the tongue that it gives life and um, it can also take life. Um, so yeah, I guess it's something that I just have to reflect on and ask myself if there are instances whereby I end up being too negative or like being um, a pessimist and that I should limit on that. Thanks. All right, great. Um, Aus Khaladi. Um, good evening, family. Good evening. Um, thank you so much uh, uh, <laughs> for family, but thank you so much um, to Awudi Emmanuel, Os Charis, guys. Um, Ralevuga, thank you so much for the food served fresh from, you know, from the throne of the Father. And I guess another challenge maybe to us um, as family is that um, 
pursuing this lifestyle that the Lord has called us to might make us look unpopular sometimes. Like, you know how people will say to a child, hey, come here, you with big ears, or hey, come here, you naughty one, or, or maybe, hey, today I'm really, really broke, you know? Um, guys, it may look sometimes or sound sometimes as if it's just the language that everybody says, but God has called us to a different uh, path and to a different mandate. I'm telling you that in my place of work, they know that I will not allow anybody to speak ill of themselves or even their children or another. And even if it's close to my end and everybody say, oh, I'm broke. They say, they already say, oh, count Haladi out. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to show anybody my bank balance, but I refuse to refer to myself as well. And yeah, it doesn't matter whether I'm politically correct or not. I will attract what I want to see happening in my life. And like I'm saying, saints, sometimes it may make us to arise or maybe to to refuse to say no um you cannot speak about yourself like that like people like to say oh i'm so stupid so yeah we need to arise god has called us to a different kingdom and he's going to enable us because our speech really is creating our future like we have said already when uh, we are what we are whether we feel like we are victorious, it doesn't matter. We will say it until it happens in our lives. So that's, that, that's my little contribution. And may God bless you richly and richly and richly. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Um, uh, Abu Disipo, over to you. Hello, everybody. Um, we thank uh, our dear sister and brother, the Onalapos, for bringing us a timely word. Um, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. It's it 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 it, it really is a wedding season. Um, even Jesus said, "Every no idle word spoken uh, will be left." Unjust. So what we say is it's, it's 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 very important, you know, um, because we are the legislative body of uh, heaven here on earth. So we've got to bring heaven's will on earth, you know, and we do that by our mouths by speaking what heaven says through the word of God. And may the Lord help us to stay disciplined and not be swayed, you know, by the pressures of life and influences around us. You know, that's my prayer because we are human. Sometimes we force us, but may God really strengthen us, you know, and, uh, and make us, you know, to be able to bridle our tongues and speak his word as it is will for us to do that thank you guys uh without further ado let me uh, hang over uh, hand over back to brother blue and we continue but all right um uh, thank you i'm gonna ask uh well -Mel to share his thoughts over to you um and I'd like to first thank um, House Kevin, Brother Bill, Brother Emmanuel for the word. And, and oh, to me, what resonated the most is that we should. Same strength and the same abilities that God had as He created us. 
us in his own image. Um, and that we should not talk negatively and expect uh, prosperity from in our lives because he, it wouldn't happen. So we are able to all right uh thank you so much um uh my brother um i hope you guys heard him clearly because there's there was a bit of echo um i'm gonna ask uh my sister lisbeth to jump in as well, share your thoughts. Thank you. Blessed evening, saints. Um, thank you so much for the word, beloved. Uh, indeed, it's a, it's a great word. It's a it's a powerful word that is shared. Um, I thank you so much uh, because it is a reminder um, of our walk in God, uh, reminding us who we are and how powerful we are in creating the future we want to see. My brother shared a verse that said, the Lord spoke and what he spoke came to pass. And... The word of God reminds us how powerful is the tongue. In the book of James 3, 5 to 6 says, Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boast. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire. Imagine how powerful is what we speak, the tongue, what we release is from our tongue. But you know, we serve a merciful God, we serve a gracious God, in that even in our in our faults, in our weaknesses, there's still mercy for us. I know that there is power in the blood of Jesus that we can reverse the things that we say because we are people and we are growing every day. And the message of God are new every day. So even as we falter, even as we speak negative, we are able to nullify even the things we speak. Um, but it's not also what what we speak. You know, sometimes we don't take cognizance of what people speak. Sometimes we think just ignoring what people declare upon us will go away. Every word... Um, is a spirit, so it builds. Mm. So if people speak negative upon us and we just ignore it, we also doing are not doing ourselves justice. Mm. So what we need to do is realize what we need to receive and what we need to reject. It doesn't matter who they are, uh, in what authority, in what power, in what position. As long as it doesn't agree with what you are and what God says you are and God says about your life, you have the authority and the right to reject it immediately, spoken anytime, anyway. So we, we are really grateful to be reminded that what we speak can build us. And in the book of Proverbs 15, verse 4, it says, the soothing tongue is a tree of life, wow. but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. Mm -hmm. So when we speak life, when we release what is life, you know, it brings life. What we release from our mouth brings life. Mm -hmm. And we're able to see it uh, in our lives, in our, in, our, in our own lives. So whatever we release, we release by faith. We release the word of God. We build our lives through the word of God. It's it's brick by brick, the, the word we declare. Amen. Amen. So I want to thank indeed the, the family for sharing the word and reminding us that we should be careful of what we release. 
we should be mindful of the words we speak. Mm. Always speak what mm. we want to see and what the word says about us and about our destiny. Mm. But, you know, um, it's important that we fill ourselves with the word to be able to, yeah. to speak the word mm. Um, mm. in every situation. That will not be overwhelmed by situation mm. and start speaking what we feel, mm. but speaking what is true. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Joy, please jump in. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi. I'm just doing a guest appearance today. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thank you um, to my brother and sister. Mm. Good time for me, mm. especially because I've been going through a few things and my mind just wandered. It, it, tends to wander in the negative side of things and I, I tend to easily get anxious about about life and when things don't go my way and um, lately the Lord has been telling me to speak life and to have faith and trust him every step of the way um, so this came at the right time for me and as an encouragement and I specifically liked um where you mentioned that it's important who we are surrounded by because the people that surround us are those who influence um, what goes on even in our thoughts. And I'll, I'll also like to add that it's also important who you follow on social media as well and what programs you watch, what are your children watching, what are your children playing, what games are they playing, what friends do they have. So it's very important, especially this um, social media thing is so important because I remember there was a time I used to follow all kinds of people and I used to wonder, why is my life like this? Why do I always think in this way? And I realized the people that I'm following on social media, because I keep reading their posts, seeing their videos, and, and all, all these negative things. And I had to start removing them out of my life um, because, it, and they were influencing my thoughts. And eventually, my thoughts became the words that I'm speaking. So it's also quite important who we follow. Um, um, on social media and who is in our circle um, because they influence our lives um, deeply. So thank you very much for the word. Amen. Wow. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Rasita to jump in. Yes. Awesome. At least today you didn't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, what a wonderful word that was shared. Thank you so much, Clarice and Emmanuel. It's very timely and quite personal to each of us, actually, because it's a beautiful reminder of the things that we tend to just neglect. I liked how um, also um, Sister Lisbeth just put it that, you know, sometimes you tend to just ignore things, negative things that are said about you or that are said about the things concerning you. And you're like, if you ignore it, it's, it's fine. I'm not entertaining it. But the reality is the word has already gone out. And because we are saying, actually, God is saying there's power in the word spoken. So you can actually rebuke it right there and then. So that for me is, is like a massive no. reminder to the fact that not only are you supposed to speak positively about yourself uh, as as Khaled was just mentioning like you know you, you need to be strict about the ways that you say about yourself you know? but also equally important so to reject verbally and speak it out anything negative said about you or said about things concerning you we just load shared. <laughs> Hallelujah. But um, honestly, this is a very um, timely word that we can apply literally to our daily lives because um, the things that we are exposed to while in this world, it's quite a lot. But with the power that we have in us, you know, we need to exercise it intentionally. We need to know exactly whose we are and not forget that and conform to the things of this world as um, my sister Joy was just um, illustrating now, you know, the people you follow on social media, it seems like, you know, it's, it's no big deal. It's just social media. I'm just having fun. I'm just 
unwinding as you'd say it but that has an impact as well and we we actually tend to neglect such things but the reality is they do influence um, our life choices they do influence our thought processes so you really need to be intentional about what you allow inside of your spirit because your body is the temple of God and inside it there is the Holy Spirit so what you take in you know, it kind of also um, contributes to the way you think, you know, the way you believe and all of those things. So you need to be mindful, be alert and, and guard your mind. So that's what that's the practical way of actually guarding your mind, the things that you watch, you know, the things that you entertain. So thank you so much, um, the Analogo family. We really appreciate this timely word. And I think I speak for everyone when I say this beautiful reminder. We are definitely going to start, if you're not already doing it, to start applying it to your life. We've seen the testimonies from, um, you know, the, the different members that we're just sharing, like our Khaled, sharing how you are actively doing this in the workplace. You know, so we can all adapt such mindsets, such activities, so that, you know, we do not fall prey to the tactics of the enemy. So thank you so much. Um, I'll hand over to you. Hey, wow, wow, wow. I hope I didn't forget anyone. And uh, my battery is almost dying, but I'm going to allow it to die if it has to. And I'll back up somewhere else. All right. Um, the most important thing that I caught from all of this is that as Psalms 18 verse 30 says, as for God, his way is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to repeat this way. I'm just going to read the first line of that verse. As for God, his way is perfect. That's what I caught from all this conversation is that God's way of doing things is to say mm. He watches what he says. And every time when he is spoken, like I like the foundational chapter you guys read in Genesis 1, that in the beginning, mm. you know, God created this and this. Mm. And he didn't say it was beautiful. He didn't say it was good. It was after his, God started to say, he mm. said, God said, mm. let there be this. And then the next day he realized it's beautiful. Mm. And God said, and God said, I just enjoyed that and... Thank you so much, um, guys, for really giving us such a powerful mm -hmm. uh, message tonight. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, going to try for us to wrap up, maybe uh, go straight to prayer. And um, uh, I've got a good feeling that uh, the first people I would like us to pray are us, Paula and Mam Khomotso family, just to pray for us, lead us into prayer, in praying for our tongues that they may steer our whole purposes and life into the right direction, to the mm -hmm. God-given purpose, mm -hmm. then, our, then our feeling purpose, feeling given purpose, amen, mm -hmm. and uh, that we may really be what God calls us to be. And I'm going to ask my brother Sipo to pray for families mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in our circle, starting from our group, and going further yeah. and I'm gonna ask uh, Khaladi, ask Khaladi to pray for uh, everyone who is supposed to be in this online Bible study who is part of our group and uh, I'm gonna ask Mam Zodwa to pray for the finances of our of our our family uh, on sky amen and in closing I'm gonna ask the Onapolos to close this in prayer and we will then be leaving the group if we are not kicked out because of our devices running out of batteries amen over to you guys thank you father thank you almighty god we honor you for this wonderful evening. Mm -hmm. We heard you speaking to us mm -hmm. about our tongues. Mm -hmm. As you did it, you have been an example yes. of mm -hmm. everything that you have yes, done. Lord. You just spoke a word and yes, all Lord. was good. Mm -hmm. All was perfect. Oh, um, yes, we come before um, your throne of 
Grace with thanksgiving in our hearts, believing you, Almighty God, asking you, Father God, to teach Mm -hmm. us that our tongues should speak life over ourselves, over the people that we live with, and be a light to the people that are amongst us as well, to be able to remind them that they do not say anything that is negative over their lives. Father, we are living in the times that are so tough, yes, in Jesus' name, but in you, Lord, we believe that the times can be so evil, the times can be the way they are, but because we are your children, we'll be able to live peaceably, we'll be able to live in abundance, we'll be able to do everything that we need through Christ Jesus who strengthened us. Father, we pray, we bring our tongues before you this evening that, Lord, help us change our mindsets, change our hearts, that whatever that comes our tongues, comes through our tongues, it's only life and it's only good things and it's only the things that we wish could happen, being wonderful things that are upon your word. Father, we want to pray this evening that Lord God Almighty, the word that you just shared, your servants Mm. who shared this evening, Mm. Lord, you have sent them for Mm. a purpose. Mm. You have spoken. We have heard you. We Mm. humble ourselves. Mm. Help us, O God, that Mm. we may do what is your will Mm. at all times and only praise you, only speak good over each and every one of us in our lives. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Almighty God. Um, thank you in Jesus' name as we pray, we pray for them. We pray, Father God, for every challenge and pressures that the families are going through, Father. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You've given us one promise that through Abraham and shall all families of the world be blessed. We pray that, Father God, you show yourself mighty against every challenge that every individual family in our group, in our church is going through, Father God. I pray, Father God, where there needs to be financial provision, provide, show yourself mighty, Father. Let us hear testimonies of what we have done on behalf of us. For God, your word says the battle belongs to you, Father God. I hear challenges, oh God. I pray, Father God, that you show yourself mighty against every challenge that families are going through in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Amen. 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 Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the family that you have given to us. My God, we have nothing but gratitude. My Lord, we thank you for our leaders, versatile and blue. Lord God, we thank you and for their family. Lord God, for the sacrifices that they are putting in, Father God, to see us have a coherent family. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you send them a special grace and favor, Lord God. My Lord, do not forget their labor of love to each one of us. My Lord, we are together members of one body, and we pray for each and every family member, Lord, who is here today and those that were meant to be here. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, tie us together with your love, Lord, your love which has cords that cannot be broken. Father God, we pray that you reach out to your children who have needs, my God, in their spirits, souls, and bodies. My Father, we thank you that even as our soul prospers, as we reach out to you, Lord God, you perfect everything that concerns us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you also for this forum. We thank you for the recording. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your spirit which is reigning in this place. Lord, continue, Father God, to give us hunger and thirst for righteousness so we can be filled by you. We thank you. We thank you for the opportunity to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Um, Amen. Hello.
Is it my turn now? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Start with life and have it more abundantly. Baba Seabong. Yes. That you are God you, who takes pleasure in our prosperity. You delight in blessing us. And Lord Jesus, we thank you that we know your generous grace. That though you were rich, that for our sake you became poor so that in your poverty you could make us rich. Lord, we thank you that you are God of restoration. Lord, we thank you that you have promised us that you will restore the years that were eaten by the locust and kangaroo, that you will restore all that the enemy had stolen. You said, O oh Lord, we shall have plenty to eat and we will be satisfied. Lord, we receive all the restoration right now. We thank you, Father, that we shall prosper and be in good health and be successful just as our spirit prospers. Father, we thank you that you are our redeemer. You teach us to profit. Peace and prosperity flow like river in our lives. We thank you, Father, that we are your children. We delight in your word. We delight in your law. You have said, O oh Lord, blessed is the person who delights in your, in your name because he is firmly planted in, in, in the streams of, uh, along the streams of water. You said, O oh Lord, we will bear fruit in our own season, mm -hmm. and whatever we do, it will prosper. Father, we thank you that you supply all our needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus, that you have made all grace abound to us, that in mm -hmm. all things and in all circumstances we may have more than enough. Baba, what you see are born, that you are, we are blessed coming in and we are blessed going out. You have blessed the work of our hands, and we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you have caused us, you have given us power to get wealth. Baba, we to see Abonga, that you have said in your word, you have blessed us with all spiritual, spiritual blessing, and we have everything that pertains to life and godliness. We speak your blessing over our life, the blessing that makes a man rich and adds no sorrow to it. Lord, we thank you that you are our shepherd. We shall not lack. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that you take care of all our needs. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you that even if we are waiting for the rain or we are waiting for our season, Lord Jesus, meanwhile we are waiting, we thank you, Lord Almighty, that not even one amongst us, that the jar of oil will be empty and the jar of, 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 of the bucket of flour will be empty. We will always have enough, enough to feed our families, enough to take care of ourselves and enough to even take care of those who cannot take care of themselves. Father, we thank you for all your blessings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and we receive them because we know that everything that we have comes from you, O oh Lord. We bless your name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. We come before you this evening, O oh God. We say thank you for using us as vessels, O oh God, to carry your word, O oh God, to your children, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, O oh God, that we shall go back and meditate on the word that has been shared this evening, O oh God, that we shall not be like we, we, shall, we, shall, we, shall, we, shall not, we shall not be like those who look in the mirror and forget what they look like, Lord Jesus. We shall remember and go back to the word of God. The, the birds shall not come and take the seeds that has been sown in our hearts, oh God, this day, oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for this forum, oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, oh God, for this platform, oh God, of family, of family, of, of togetherness, oh God, in just so we, when one and two can come together, oh God, and, and share the word in, in, in comfort, oh God, in Jesus' name. We say thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for our brothers and sisters in Christ, oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. May you meet each and every single person's need, oh God, God, wherever they are, oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the rest of this week, oh God. As we step out, oh God, we step out in grace, oh God, in favor, oh God. Thank you, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. We worship you, King of Kings, Lord of Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, the love of our Father and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be in us now forevermore. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming through. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone on Friday. We are having a cross night prayer. And um, please don't be left behind. Let's all meet in the mountain. Amen. Uh, there's a song in, uh, in Zoo that says, We will meet at Getseman. So, so let's meet at the mountain. Yes. Um, that's our new song. That's our church. So let's all meet there to pray. We are just there to pray. And uh, may God help us to, to be prepared. Amen. Invite your neighbors, invite anyone. Anyone you think. Actually, invite everybody, Daddy. not anyone. Everybody. Amen. Amen. Let's all be there. Put it on your status. Let's keep rallying everyone to come to the house of God to pray. Because I, I think in this season, we all need prayer. You know, whatever season you are in, whether in a good season or bad season or challenging season, Bye. let's all come and pray. We all need God to step in. Because the Bible talks about um, when two or three are gathered. Imagine if we gather as many as we can just to pray. Amen. Mommy. We are just there Hello. to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. So I hope to see everyone. Onika, mm. I hope to see as many uh, as I could find just to pray. We are just there just to pray and just to pray and pray and pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. Do you have anything to say? Close no, on. just to thank everyone for honoring the time and for their contributions. Uh, we really appreciate each and every single one of you. And uh, let's continue to pray for each other and stay firm in faith. Um, the God we serve is mighty. The God we serve loves us. And just to encourage everyone to um, just uh, meditate on the word of God. Um, we love you all. Thank you. Bye.